Now one thing that will really piss a guy off when it comes to dirt bikes is seize the bearings and bolts. And obviously the best way to prevent that is by keeping your stuff greased. And one product I've come across that really makes that job easy is a greasable bolt. So what we have here is a Buell bar from Steel Horse Innovations. It's a greasable swing arm bolt. So it replaces the actual swing arm bolt itself as well as the spacers that go or the sleeves that go in the swing arm. So really cool design. So I'm excited to open this thing up and see what it's all about. So once I get this thing installed and test it out, I'll actually be giving away one of these bolt setups to one of you guys. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, so it looks like we've got the bolt itself, the spacers, a nut, and an attachment that goes on your grease gun. So basically how these work is you have a grease fitting on both ends it looks like, and then use this in conjunction with your grease gun to shoot grease through the bolt. And then it comes out these holes here. I'm really curious how the grease is gonna make its way through the sleeves and to the bearings. All right, in order to install this bolt, we'll have to pull apart the back of the bike, and that would include the back wheel and the swing arm. Placing the actual swing arm bolt. This is the OEM one, as well as the spacers that go in the pivot. So these two bushings right here replace the OEM bushings up here at the pivot. And believe it or not, these pivot bearings are the only bearings I didn't replace on this bike. So we will be replacing them in this video as well. You see the old bushing has some rust and corrosion here. So you can only imagine what the actual bearing itself looks like. Now the new steel horse bushings are the same width as the OEM ones. They just have the greasing holes. And one thing I noticed inside, zoom in here, there's actually a little cavity or a cutout inside that bushing for the grease to flow through. So pretty cool design there. So I'm gonna mock this setup on the bike without the swing arm and really get an idea how it works. This should be interesting. All right, so I've got the bolt and the bushings mocked up in the bike. I'm just gonna give it a couple pumps and see if any grease comes out. There we go, I see some. That works pretty slick if you ask me. As you can see, after just a couple pumps, we've got grease coming out of those holes on either side. Pretty pumped on how this system works. You definitely know those bearings are gonna be well greased up. So that bolt works exactly as it should. It delivers grease to the swing arm pivot bearings, but one thing I noticed is it doesn't grease the center of the cases here. And the reason I bring that up is I've seen a lot of swing arm bolts stuck or seized in the cases there from rust. Now to be completely fair, I don't know if it's possible to add a center greasing hole to keep grease in the center of the cases. I'm guessing that would weaken the bolt quite a bit. So now it's time to get the swing arm all set up. I just need to pop these bushings into place. Now for you guys with a good eye, you'll notice this swing arm is different than the one we just pulled off the bike. So this is the original 03 swing arm. Now I'm swapping it out for one from a 2009 CRF 250. Now there's a few different reasons why I'm swapping the swing arms. The first being this one is lighter than the 03 swing arm by three quarters of a pound. So that's pretty cool. Apparently this is stronger as well. And I can also run the newer style chain guide with these mounts here. So I picked up the swing arm on eBay for pretty cheap, went through, cleaned it up, shined it up, took all the casting marks out with the Prime MX cleaning pads went ahead and popped in some fresh bearings as well. So this thing is ready to go. Now the last thing to do is pop these bushings into place. And you're gonna wanna look at the end of each bushing for a little punch mark. And if you see a punch mark, that end of the bushing is gonna go toward the frame side of the swing arm. 
Now before your sweet arm goes back in, you're going to want to put anti-seize lubricant or grease inside of the cases to prevent that bolt from getting stuck. I've seen way too many bolts seized to the point where I have to cut them out with a sawzall or a cutoff wheel right here. Just really crappy situation, so you want to avoid that. you have to tap on the bolt at all, make sure you use a socket that fits over the grease fitting. That way you don't damage it. And for the nut, you can just torque that to the factory spec. On this particular bike, that is 65 foot pounds. Now we can go ahead and get this linkage back on as well. Oh, but one more thing I noticed, I'm gonna have to find a different bolt for this new swing arm, because obviously that ain't gonna work. Go ahead and take a peek at how this new style guide will look on here. I don't quite have the slider for it yet, but yeah, that looks a lot better. Really digging the black too. Now with the bike together for the most part, the last thing to do is shoot some grease into that swing arm bolt and you're all set. It's honestly pretty straightforward. So once you see a little bit of grease purge out the end of the bolt, that means the bearing is completely full. Now, I would recommend greasing both sides of the bolt after every long ride, every time you wash the bike, or if the bike has been sitting for a while. And keep in mind, when you do grease that bolt, make sure there's no dirt or debris around that fitting, or else you'll just be pushing all that crap right into the bearings. All right, so what are my thoughts on the Steel Horse Buell Bar Kit? So it's really well designed, does exactly what it was designed to do, greases those swing arm bearings, the fit finish is great, installation isn't too bad. You do have to take a couple things apart, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, it's made of quality materials, isn't gonna break on you or anything. And in my opinion, it's gonna save you a lot of time and hassle down the road in keeping those bearings greased. You know, the bearings aren't gonna fall apart, your bolt's not gonna get stuck in there, and you don't have to take your bike halfway apart just to grease those swing arm bearings. So definitely got a thumbs up in my book. And as promised, we're gonna be doing a giveaway for one of these kits to one of you guys. So the only requirement is that you need to have one of the bikes that Steel Horse makes this kit for. So you're gonna head over to Steel Horse's website. I'll link it down below. You're gonna check through their inventory, see if they have something that would fit your bike. And if they do, you're gonna go down below in the description again hit the giveaway link that'll take you over to the page where you enter your name, your email address so I can contact you if you're the winner, and your make and model of your bike. And that's about it. All right guys, I'm sweating my ass off out here. Time to go inside, but I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.